There you go. We got a fish on. Woo! <laughs> Man. Woo! Yeah. We got some kind of fish on. Woo! <laughs> we'll see if we can. Yeah, I believe that's the strapper. He's pulling, pulling that drag off. Oh, my income is sure not outcome. When Friday rolls around, I'm broken in some. What I'm making, somebody's taking. Now here I go, a little further in the hole. Hey, good morning, y'all. This past Murray. Today is February 1st, 2023, and we are fishing today on Lake Russell. On the Savannah the River system, we are fishing for stripers. We are fishing for big stripers. Uh, we are slow trolling planer boards, uh, one on my right, one on my left, a 30 foot uh, trailing line behind the planer board with live rainbow trout. The trout are six inch long, uh, six inches long. And uh, we've also got one ready rig out behind me, trailing 110 feet, and one free line out behind me, trailing 75 feet. Those are also loaded with rainbow trout. So uh, it's a beautiful day. The water temperature is 49 degrees. The air temperature currently is 58 degrees with a very light breeze. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, sun will be coming up in uh, maybe about 10 minutes or so. We've been out here since daylight. We baited up and we are fishing. I just want to say thank you so much for fishing with me today. I uh, hope you enjoy and hope uh, we catch some fish and uh, Hopefully, we'll pick up a few tips as well. God bless. Tight line. Hey, y'all. Uh, again, we are fishing for stripers, but we are fishing for big stripers. Um, if we get one or two stripers today, we will be doing good. If we get a good runoff, uh, usually the stripers you catch here in Lake Russell are big stripers. Um, they're few and far in between, but it's a challenge, and it's... Uh, awesome uh, thrill and rush when you get a big striper pulling this kayak around like a jug uh, just that's why i'm here this morning uh, love it love it hey y'all just want to show you this beautiful sunrise uh coming up uh, just awesome it's, we have some clouds today and the sun is trying to break through uh just beautiful beautiful morning that god has blessed us with uh, beginning of a new day uh, you know there's something spiritual about that uh, being out here in god's creation and seeing all this beauty witnessing the wildlife the birds uh, uh, seagulls uh, a flock of uh, geese came over a few minutes ago and uh, this is holy ground. This is sacred space. Uh, and we're blessed to be here. We are fishing the mouth of one creek, uh, kind of fishing in a Y type area. Uh, and we're, we'll be moving toward the back of creek and, and try it. Uh, we had a little bit of luck the last two weeks and picked up a good striper each week in the back of that creek and we're going to try it again today if that doesn't work we'll probably move on out uh, toward the mouth of the creek and uh, maybe uh, try to pick up a striper or two in the timber standing timber uh, a lot of timber uh, covered with water in lake russell uh, the tops of the timber sometimes come up to within 10 feet of the surface, but anytime you get in water that's uh, 30 foot or deeper in Lake Russell, it generally has standing timber 
uh, below that depth. So I just want to give you a heads up on that, but that's what holds the big stripers too. They're just tough to get out of that area. It's best that uh, you have 30 pound uh, mono uh, and 30 pound leader, um, good strong circle hooks, because if you hang a fish in that timber, you're gonna have to get him out of that timber. And uh, recently I've had uh, two different fish hung up in Timber, uh, blessed to get both of them out. So, hey y'all, okay, we got a fish on. Woo! <laughs> Man, woo! Yeah, we got some kind of fish on. Woo! <laughs> we'll see if we can. Yeah, I believe that's the strapper. He's pulling, pulling that drag off. We're gonna see if we can uh, go into it. And, uh, apologize for the sun here. But uh, we're gonna do the best we can to keep from getting tangled up. I don't know how big he is, but he's a fish. He's a fish. Yes, sir. Woo! He's a fish. Let's see. He's under us now. Yeah, I thought I saw him uh, bump. It's a little bit of work, so we'll see what it is. Whew. There he is. It's uh, not, not a huge one, but hey, he broke the ice here. He's fun to catch. Uh, Woo! <laughs> Awesome! Here we go. Here we go. Come here. Ah! There we go. Got him in the boot. Got him in the boot. Woo! I'm gonna try to. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep him uh, moving here. So, uh. I don't get hung up. I see some trees under me. Let's see if we can get a circle hook out. Did a great job. Uh, there he is. I'm going to say he's probably about uh, four pounds or so. So, uh, beautiful striper. I'm going to pull him a little bit. Tell him he might make five pounds. But, uh, again, uh, smaller fish. Fun to catch. Marking a few fish under me and some bait fish. Show you what that looks like on the uh, Garmin here. Uh, I'm following a creek bed. And the uh, bait fish, the herring and, and gizzard shad and all, they uh, school up along those creek beds and the uh, strippers come in and feed on them. So, let's see. And I'm gonna see if I can pick up some lost ground here so my uh, other lines don't get hung up in these treetops. Kind of have to keep moving slowly for them. But hey, the other thing is, time you catch fish when you slow down and stop. Again, I'm going anywhere between uh, one half mile per hour and uh, two miles per hour. So. Uh, I'm not, well, we'd like to take a picture. He, he might be the only fish I catch today. So uh, let's get a picture of him. Uh, beautiful uh, striped bass in the four to five pound range. So, uh, wow, a lot of fun.
We'd like to catch a bunch of them today. Woo! <laughs> so, uh, again, I'm going to tow him a little bit and we will, uh, we will release this fella. Uh, we're going to let him go, let him grow. Next time we catch him, he might be, uh, 20 pound plus fish uh, get into that trophy class. So we'll give them a chance to to grow. And uh, see, there he goes. Thank you, buddy, for the ride. Woo! Awesome! Woo! Oh man! That coming. You got off. Oh, broke my heart. Man, broke my heart. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that hurt. Hey y'all, I got a bite. Don't know what it is, but we'll find out. Woo! Kind of feels like it might be a spotted bass right now. But hey, it's been a dry uh, day. Oh man, he got off. Man, I felt him get off. Uh. Well, he, I could tell he wasn't very big. He didn't he didn't pull uh, the drag too hard. So. Uh, Sure would oh, well. like to have him in the kayak. Felt like a good one. Hmm.